people when they meet you in the street, do they call you Jezebel? <laughs> Not to my face. <laughs> <laughs> I find myself suddenly stopped on the street all the time by mm. overexcited people saying, oh, yeah, I don't believe it, it's you. Yeah. I think, you know, for heaven's sake. <laughs> but You I, really, it, you carried us through a dark period. Through. <laughs> good, good. I well, I, I'm, I'm you, know, you know, and I absolutely love it. People often say, how, you know, how can you stand all that attention? All I can tell you is I love the attention. That's great. I'm an absolute show off and I, I'm really egotistical. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it suits my character completely. I... For me, the show brought so much comfort. During those early months of the p pandemic and quarantine, what was something that brought you comfort? It sounds rather awful to say this, but I had a really lovely pandemic because I was at home all the time, which yeah. is a treat for me. And the only times I wasn't there was when we were filming Bake Off, and we did that in in a hotel um, with an enormous 180 um, acre. And you had mentioned earlier the phrase geriatric love, and you've <laughs> like had your experiences like getting married again at 70s, like surprise you or change your view yeah. on geriatric love. <laughs> well, yes, and it wasn't only, um, to be honest, when my husband died, I mean, widowhood is just the most awful experience. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, that's, that's it, you know, that, that's fine. I, and I, you know, I was very grateful for a happy marriage. I just thought, well, I, I'll get on with my work and my children and I'll be a good granny and all the rest of it. And then I actually fell in love with a guy who's not my present husband, but I did at, at the age of 64 or 66 or something, 66. I fell in love with this chap. And he was an, a pianist and so different from my husband, who was a writer. And I thought this was wonderful, you know, and I was so ex surprised that I could still feel that panic about will you ring me up? Yeah. And, you know, that, so, <laughs> but, had you found the rules had changed like since? Uh, no, I no. found absolutely nothing at the time. It was exactly like being 17 again. I, you know. um, I mean, ridiculous, worrying about what you're going to wear uh -huh. and all that stuff. <laughs> Which glasses to put on. Yes, exactly. And I met my present husband. That's great. <laughs> and exactly the same thing, the you, know, get, you know, worrying about you know, will he like this, will he not? Uh -huh. And the funny thing is that he was a, he's been a clothes designer mm. um, and he had a manufacturing company and he made women's fashion at first and he asked me out to dinner. I thought, oh God, I better feel very grown up and look terrific. So I, I wore all the sort of beige, beige suede, uh, suede tan mm. jacket, white silk. The, the go, chic linen. The chic <laughs> linen, guard, you know, gold necklaces. Mm -hmm. and, and almost the first thing he said to me is, what are you wearing? He said, he said, I really, he said, the reason I asked you out is you looked so great in that orange jersey. 